Are you looking for a killer combat car that will help you win games in Gaslands? Well, check out this 1964 Chevy Impala. This is a model car that I built after being inspired by Twisted Metal, which is a car combat video game from the 90s. And what I did here is I built up a 1964 Chevy Impala. This was actually a rebuild of a kit that I built when I was really young. And I've mounted on Star Wars type guns in the front, made a new wooden bumper and used the AMT rubber tires, which I cut to stretch out over the bumper, as well as some actual roofing nails with the spikes in the front. And if I start turning this car to the side, you can see some other features that were added. These are resin cast hard wheels that I got from somewhere. On the back of the guns, I have some guitar string going into the back. I've also got this mortar from a model tank and a missile out here in the back. Pirate flags from an old pirate ship model. These little eyelet hooks were also from the tanks. This in the back is our wooden rear bumper and here's a chain as well. And there's even some hexagonal bolts underneath there that are used to mount the bumper on. And then turning over to this side, there's that yellow missile again. The roof is actually flat pieces of styrene plastic with welds up in the sides where everything is connected. The windshield is stock. The roof was cut off to make this a convertible at one point, but that didn't really work out. The glass is actually broken quite a bit. And overall, it's got that crazy killer car look. So let's get closer on this baby. Here I have the front bumper detail and the rubber tires actually stuck on there using some little finishing nails and you can see the bigger spike nails down below. I also painted on those angry headlights on the front, make them look like eyes, like the car was actually some kind of monster. Here's a look from the rear top three quarters and you can see the nice red wire that goes up into the gun. That's actual vintage electronic wire. It's still wrapped in the old style paper. You can see my welds up underneath those steel plates and around the back window. Made to look like a cutting torch, cut that window open, which is also a shield to help protect the driver against machine gun fire. Now that grill on the back is to add in all the wires and cooling to our weapons and our guns. It's actually a 1930s Packard stone shield from the monogram kit. And there you can see that yellow missile. And if I turn the camera this way, you can see the mounting for the missile, which again allows it to launch and fire. Here's our car from the passenger side. And again, there is that mounting bracket of the triangle there. And you can see our cooling and the wire going into the trunk just back in there. But now I can take this car apart and we can take a look at the interior. But there's those Star Wars guns up at the front. And I've even got some little tow rings up in that grill just in case the car gets stuck somewhere. Now, as I was saying, I did not glue the body to the chassis. So here I'll just take it off. And now you can see what's going on under in the car. Here we have the interior details. Interestingly enough, I do believe this interior came from a 1957 Chevy. You can see the nice pleated pattern on those door panels. Now, as we look at our center console, I have a whole bunch of these little lights and gauges going on. There is a hand pistol there, as well as a steering wheel and a single driver's seat. The back seat has been blanked off. Ooh, by the use of this bulkhead in the back where all the wires and cables are going into and once the roof is on there you can't see that back seat at all so it ends up working quite nice the pistol is again a little 125th scale item I do believe it came from one of the gangster boxes like the 32 Chrysler or something like that underneath the hood is the stock Impella engine that came with the kit but all the air cleaner and everything else has been removed. Uh, there is no real reason to have this engine sitting in here because the hood is glued down. But from underneath you can clearly see the oil pan and all the rest of that fun stuff. Here's how I have the rear bumper hooked on. Those are hexagonal bolts with the screw pattern being held down by little wires which have been drilled up through the plastic chassis. The same sort of thing has been done to the front bumper to keep it on. It's just two little holes beside the nail heads 
and then the nails are attached with that wire and the, then the wire is twisted together and cinched off at the tops. Here is the underside of the chassis and you can see that not much has really been done here. This is how I built kits when I was about nine years old and uh, I didn't paint the mufflers on here but I did paint the pipe which is rather interesting. There's the, yellow, or the green wire here holding on those bolts in the back. This whole rear bumper and front bumper are actual thick pieces of balsa wood and they've been stained with a wood stain and ended up being pretty nice. The only thing I think would be better on this is instead of using these hard rubber, well hard uh, resin tires, would have been to use thicker AMT tires that came out a bit more into the body. But overall, I mean, this is the way I built back then. So what do you think of my entry into Gaslands here? Do you think it uh, is too clean? I mean, the only rust is really right around here where the guns are attached and on the roof where it was welded up. But the rest of it is a nice brand new car color, like a perfect paint on here. Uh, do you think it needed more rust and like worn out bits or is it fine? I think it's fine, but uh, just kind of curious as to your opinions on this for Gaslands. According to the rules in Gaslands, your car can be equipped with many different weapons and other sort of items. I will leave a description of what I've found down in the comments below, but as you can see I've chosen to use these Star Wars laser guns, as well as missiles and a mortar off the back. But let me know what you think. What kind of weaponry and sort of things like that would you add into your Gaslands car? There's also teams in Gaslands, or sponsors as it would be. Which team or faction would you belong to? There is one called Slime, I believe, and it's sort of like the Australian Mad Max guys. That one would be kind of cool. In a future video, I will build a new Gaslands car, and I'll take a look at the rules and try to figure out what kind of weaponry and whatnot I would put on a different car, and make it sort of in the same team. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do this blue color again, or something more rusted, or use some techniques I might find on the web, but for right now, this is my entry. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of Natey's Killer Chevrolet Impala, and here's a little taste of something that I could be brewing up for future video. And here's Natey beside this monstrosity, just for a little bit of perspective as to the size of this thing. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video.